Hello, everyone. In this new session, we talk about number theory. So what is number theory? Number theory is the study of integers, or whole numbers. At this level, it mainly includes three topics. First, divisibility rules. Second, prime numbers and factors. And lastly, we have remainders. Today, we talk about divisibility rules first. I think many of you might be familiar with some divisibility rules. Let me list all of the divisibility rules from 2 to 9. So let's take a look. For 2, we know it's all even number. So basically, last digit is 2, 4, 6, 8, or 0. This will be an even number that is divisible by 2. Very easy. And for 3, this is something very useful. If the sum of the digits of n, is a multiple of 3. That means, for example, we have a number 1, 2, 3. We can do 1 plus 2 plus 3. The sum of the digits is 6. As 6 is a multiple of 3, this number 123 is divisible by 3. And for 4, if the last two digits of n are a multiple of 4, so for example, we have a very big number 1, 2, 3. Uh, 32. We, if we want to check if this number is divisible by 4, we just need to check the last two digits. So 32 is divisible by 4. So this whole number is divisible by 4. The reason is that this whole number you can expand into 1, 2, 3, 0, 0 plus 32. And this number, because it's a multiple of 100, 100 is always divisible by 4. So this whole number is always divisible by 4. That's why we only need to worry about the last two digits. Divisible rule of 5 is easy. The last digit is 0 or 5. Divisible rule of 6, we can use divisible rule of 2 and 3 for both. And the divisible rule of 8 is the last three digits of n are a multiple of 8. This is similar to 4. So we have a big number, 1, 2, 3, say 120. So 1, 2, 3, 120, we just look at the last three digits. 120 is divisible by 8. So this whole number is divisible by 8. And the reason is the same. It can write into 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 0 plus 120. As the first part is always divisible by 8. So we only worry about the last three digits. And lastly, we have, if the sum of digit of n is a multiple of 9, this is similar to rule of 3. So, for example, we have 144. This number, the digit plus together is 9. So this whole number, 144, is a, a multiple of 9. So these two, I would say the, all these rules are very useful, especially for 3, 4, 8, 9. So for 7, there's no easy rules used, so we don't need to worry about this. Okay, let's see some real, pa real paper questions. This is 2018 problem 7. Let's pause the video and think about it. Okay, let's go back to this question. The five digit number is divisible by nine. What's the remainder when this number is divisible? Div divided by eight. Divisible by nine, which means all the digit is a multiple of nine. So we already have nine, two, so which means you must be seven. So first, by using the divisible rule of nine, we find u is seven. And then, what's the remainder when this number divided by 8? We only need to worry about the last three digits. So let's do 187 divided by 8. We have, yeah, the remainder is 3. So user rules will be a lot easier to uh, then you use the whole number to calculate the answer. Okay, let's see the next one. 
This is 2020 problem 19. Let's pause the video and see if you can get it. Okay, let's take a look. How many five digit flippy numbers are divisible by 15? So 15, we can separate it into three times five. So we can use rule of three and the rule of five. So flippy numbers, we know it's like A, B, A, B, A, five digit. So it's divisible by five. Here A should be zero or five. As A is the first digit, so A cannot be 0. So A must be 5. So we first get it should be 5B5, this kind of number. And then this number is divisible by 3. So that means we have 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus B. And the B, this B, should be a multiple of 3. As 15 is already a multiple of 3, which means 2b should be divisible by 3. That means b can be 0. Yeah, don't forget 0. That's a tricky one. 0, 3, 6, and 9. So in total, we have 4 numbers. OK, let's see the next one. This is 2016 problem 24. Again, let's pause the video. Okay, let's come back. So we have a four digit, we have a five digit number, P, Q, R, S, T. Where can we start with? Set so P, Q, R is divisible by four, Q, R, S, yeah, we can start with QRS divisible by 5, which means S should be 5. First, this is our first step. And the three-digit number RST is divisible by 3. This is divisible by 3. Okay, so let's consider the first three is a multiple of 4. So R must be 2 or 4. At least it's an even number. But if R is 2, then t will be, because 2 plus 5 plus t should be divisible by 3, then t should only be 2 or 5. But 2 and 5 is already used. So that means r cannot be 2. So the only possible way of r is leave with 4. OK, so now let's consider 4 plus 5 plus t the multiple of 3. So now t can only be 3. So t is determined. And lastly, we have pq. This is 1, 2, 4, or 2, 1, 4. It's, a power, it's a divisible by 4, so it must be 1, 2, 4. So this must be 1, 2, 4. Now the number is determined. So what is b? b is 1. Did you get it? Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next lecture.